Okay, welcome to another video where we're talking about the challenge pack on Snooker 19 and this is the timed section. So uh, for the first one it's called pressure potting and you have to pot the blue, pink and black in under 20 seconds. A lot harder than it looks and this is actually a failed attempt because it looks like I've got uh, plenty of time. I've got five seconds here to pot the black but I take too long to aim and you hear the 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 klaxon and that's it if you hear that before you pop the black it is over so you uh, have to do it again so I thought I'd show you how quick you have to be on this one uh, to actually sort of to, to get it but all I do is I I, I don't change the uh, power I just aim just below center on the on the white because you want the white to travel but not too far so it saves you a bit of time and then again white just below center well, I actually finished quite high on this black, so I should have um, screwed it back a bit more. But you, you can't spend a lot of time aiming, and I just so happen that I get it pretty, pretty bang on on that one. I had a few like that where, you know, I, I would sort of go awkward on the black, and I'd just go for it, and eventually I got it. So there you go. That's the first challenge done. Uh, a bit tricky, a lot harder than than it looks, uh, and I would say. I would say that about all the challenges on this one, actually. They're a lot harder than they look, uh, but we'll go on to the next one. Which is Colours Under Pressure. So all you've got to do is pop the colours under pressure. It's, uh, uh, but you've got to do it in the time slot. Uh, so all I do is put a little bit of top, 42% power, which should get you nicely onto the green. So I take a freeze freeze frame of some of the first colors that I pot here so now I'm on nicely on the green all I've got to do is screw it back a little bit so I put a little bit below center don't change the power don't be worried about screwing it back uh, a little bit because you can uh, you'll be a lot better on the brown than you think and now what I do is I actually play the blue in the bottom left corner and I'll tell you why so put plenty of screw on it 41% I think I put on it and the reason why is because now I'm actually in pretty much the same position as I was for the previous challenge and I know how to pot these ones so all I gotta do is put a little bit of bottom on it hit it at 50% and I'll be on the pink hopefully I don't go in off which I almost do um, but because I don't have to put it in the same pocket here I end up rolling it forward but I could have stunned it across if I was a little bit higher and then I've got 50 seconds here, which isn't a long time. So with all these time challenges, you just don't have a lot of time to mess around, to, to spend a lot of time aiming, because aiming will take the most time. And also hitting the power bar takes like one second or so, so that can take some time. So that's Colours Under Pressure done. Quite a tough one, but you know, you can, you can do it. Thin, thin red line. So I've spin up, <laughs> sped up the footage for this one because you know, my, my only advice for this one is, again, don't spend too much time aiming. Don't think about it too much. What I end up doing here is I take a, a big chunk of the bottom half of the table. Um, and I, look, I just don't dilly-dally. I don't... Um, I'm actually speeding it up now. But I don't dilly-dally. I don't spend a lot of time thinking about it. I just take the shot and get on with it. Because if you spend any time looking at one shot and then going for another you might as well just restart the whole challenge so just just if you see a red on and you think that'll do and that's why i'm not really thinking about it too much here i'm just like that'll do that that's going in i can pot that it's pretty straight and then i just go for it my, my tactic here really was to kind of get rid of uh the reds at the bottom and then the reds at the top but i don't end up doing that i had to change tack uh sort of much halfway through because i feel like the reds in the middle are easier and you have more options to pop them in more pockets. But I end up sort of just going wherever I want. Don't think about it too much. I don't even really play a lot of spin on the white ball. I, I end up just playing position by, by using the power bar. And uh, I figured this is my last chance to get in the middle of the table. So I take that one. And now I've just got three reds that are nicely close together. Um, and I just roll this one forward. And I've got, I've got to do it in... You know, 35 seconds, which you think is plenty of time, but it soon goes when you're playing snooker. And uh, this is the only shot where I actually screw it back a little bit. 
and I think we're going into normal time now, so normal speed, and then I just pass it in the middle with around about 10 seconds to spare. So again, like all the challenges on the time section, they're a bit tricky. Don't waste too much time lining shots up and just get on with it. That one probably took me about three or four attempts to do it. The next ch challenge is 11 to one. Again, uh, it looks easier than it is. I, I put a lot of top and I put it at 93%, just so when I break through, I just smash the reds and any reds that try to bunch together, I break through them again. What you want from the break is the reds as spread out and all over the table as possible. And then you gotta think about which reds are bunched together and which reds are on the cushion. So I've sped up the footage here again and I'm looking at the two bottom reds on the cushion straight away because they're going to be my problem reds they're the ones that i'm going to struggle with to get rid of so i want to get rid of them as soon as possible which i do here and then after this red i think about well these four reds to the bottom right are cumbersome so i feel like if i play that shot i'll get on one of them but i didn't so i have to kind of play away from them again and uh from now on i, I pretty much pop myself out of trouble again i thought i would hit that a lot softer than i did but i didn't so i have to end up playing for this red so i'll I end up kind of getting rid of these four reds all in one, which I tried to do a little bit sooner, but I seem to get away with it. And any shot that's pretty much straight is the easiest thing to line up, so that's what I go for. And then I end up playing this red in the bottom right corner. And this is probably, apart from the, the red along the cushion, the trickiest uh, shot that I did in this whole sequence. So it's all from the break. If you can spread the reds out from the break, that's why I put a ton of top on the white ball, just to make sure that you know they, they no reds are bunched together because as soon as they're bunched together, it's just a nightmare. So the next one is called 15, and it's a lot more difficult than you think because, and I zoom in on the description here, you have to pop the balls within the shot and time limit. So you think, oh yeah, there's a time limit. That's fine, 280 seconds, but there's actually a shot limit which means you, there's only 21 balls on the table and you have to do it in 21 shots, which means you have to pot a ball off the break, uh, which I took a while to figure out. It took me about an hour to figure out and I didn't realize that. So what I do is I pot the blue um, and I go into the reds from the break. I mean, you could sort of look it out and pot two reds at the same time. Um, so I'll actually show you this blue again, just... <clears throat> So you get an idea of it, 89%, plenty of top, not maximum top, but plenty of top. And it will hit the edge of the pack and that will sort of split the reds out. And the good thing about this one is obviously you don't have to pot red color, red color, red color. Once you pot a ball, <coughs> it stays down. Sorry about my coughing. Once you pot a ball, it stays down. You don't have to pot them in any order, in any pocket, which makes it a little bit easier. But it is a really, really tricky challenge to do uh, and I probably spent about two hours doing this one so here I'm just kind of looking for any opportunity to go into the pack and I do go into in, go into the pack successfully there but I've, I've, I've still not broke them wide enough to do any damage so um, yeah I've sped up the footage again and I'm just looking now just to thin this bunch out just to see uh, you know if I can take any anything away from the bunch every red or ball that you pot that is within the bunch or next to the bunch you are allowing another red to go in is the way I like to think about it use the yellow as a bit of a, a get out of jail free card there uh, but again look I've got a nice red in the middle so that frees up the bunch a little bit more and I'll probably just look towards the bunch see that nothing goes and go for this red so yeah it's it's not an easy one this one it's just not an easy easy challenge at all and I, I, I see this as an opportunity to go into them again here just to move them around uh, and it does work to an extent go for a tricky middle but at this point you know I've been playing it for an hour I'm, I'm pretty sort of confident with my with my shot taking I'm pretty sort of bored so I get a little bit more <laughs> Uh, brave, I suppose, and and now there there isn't much uh, of a bunch at all. All of a sudden, so now I'm just looking to get rid of this one on the cush, which I get onto nicely. Same as the previous challenge, any problem balls on the cushion, you just want to get rid of them as soon as possible. Um, 
And while you've got the option, you've got plenty of chances and balls to get onto the awkward ones. So I'll get rid of that one pretty quickly. Uh, and obviously, as it goes down to the last few, um, it gets a little bit more challenging. So I slow the footage back to normal speed here. Uh, because don't forget, there is a timer as well. So you've got to get it in 21 shots. But you've also got to make sure that you get it in the, the last time slot. And I actually think that I don't do it here because I've got five seconds left. But as soon as you hit the ball, as long as you hit the ball within the time, which I do, I hit it at one second, it doesn't matter. There's no klaxon. All you've got to do is hit the white ball within the time because that brown went in um, way after the zero seconds. But I got it anyway. So the last challenge on this time section is very tricky. The Predator is the Q reward, the three star Q reward. Uh, the Mint Chuck, that's a nice Q, is the four star. And then the five star, another four star is the Candy Cane. And then five star is the Phoenix. So plenty of rewards for doing this challenge. A very tricky challenge. Took me a couple of hours, as I say. Uh, and, but that's all the challenges on the basic skill section done. So if you found these videos useful, if you've been stuck in any of them, please leave me a comment and tell me that you know it's been useful. Give me a like because that helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you've enjoyed the content and want to see more content from me. I'll be covering the advanced skills as well. So if you're struggling on any of those, I'll be uploading those and you can watch them. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Enjoy the snooker stuff. Bye.